Well, let's take it to Abuja now, where Niger Delta activists held a protest at the National Assembly, urging the Senate not to confirm Samuel Obuku as the managing director of the Niger Delta Development Commission. They accused the nominee of having skeletons in his cupboard. National Assembly correspondent Joke Adissa reports. The 20-year-old Niger Delta Development Commission has been a subject of controversy for the better part of its existence. Allegations of corruption and fraud forced the government to embark on a forensic audit of the Commission's activities. While that is yet to be done with, the recent appointment of a 16-man board for the Commission has raised mixed reactions among those concerned. <laughs> While the Ijo Youth Council has applauded President Homodo Buhari for the nomination of Baester State-born Samuel Ubuku to the exalted office of the Managing Director, other groups have kicked against it. One of them is this coalition of Niger Delta development groups and activists. Days after Mr. President wrote to the Senate seeking the confirmation of his nominees, this group took its protest to the National Assembly. Its members insist Samuel Ubuku is not fit to be appointed the NDDC helmsman. We recall on one million Nigerians and two sons and daughters of the Niger Delta region to rise to the occasion opposed our patrimony being left in the hands of an individual with many corrupt baggages. NDDC is for the development of the Niger Delta region and not for the self-aggrandizement of a few. Thanks and remain blessed. The call on the Senate to reject his nomination in the interest of justice and equity. To the Senate by Mr. President has a suspected murderer and non Curtis as managing director. I dare state without any fear of contradiction that Chief Samuel Ogoku, Mr. President's nominee from Bayesa State for the position of MD of NDDC, is a man of personal character who was arrested for murder in 2014 and spent six months in Okaka prison. Already, the Deputy President of the Senate, Uvi Omoa Gigi, from Delta State, has objected to the list on the basis that his state was not represented. This, the President of the Senate, Hamid Lawan, promised will be corrected before the president's list is confirmed. More reactions in days or weeks ahead may combine to give the Nigerian Senate a direction as it investigates, scrutinizes, and concludes legislative work on each of the nominees. Joke Adsa, TVC News, Abuja.